Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge 2.0 Day 8. Marty Miller with Summit Property Group in Houston, Texas. And yesterday we did a dive into Sketch House for the first time, and we're going to continue that dive today. So if we click on the Sketch House menu here, Yesterday we got into Facebook ads. Today we're gonna to get into Instagram a little bit further. So if we click on social and create template, and let's say today we wanna to advertise an open house. So open house and I want Instagram, and it's gonna pull up the template that looks best for Instagram. So let's choose that template. And that's gonna take us into the WeBrand editor and we can start working on it. Now, yesterday I had a logo um, that I was utilizing, and because I didn't know any better, I had the logo that I thought was the best one. Thank you, Jay Cermak, uh, for sending me a personal email and then posting a great training video on how to um, access the best logos for the branding that you're doing. So um, I'm going to post a link to Jay's video here in this video so you guys can access that. Uh, basically find your Market Center's logos within KW Connect. So. Um, here you can see the two that I have downloaded that are the correct ones. I'm going to get rid of this one eventually, but you can see these two. However, this is a gray and white theme, and you can see down here this logo is all in white. That's the one that I want to use. So I was actually able to download one from the Connect page that is black and white, or white and white really. So uh, that's this file here. So you can see I basically clicked here. It was opening my file um, explorer. I'm going to choose this file. And then that way I can utilize this logo. You'll see it pop up here in just a second. And now you can see the white version. So I'm going to drag that one in. Oops, let me just click on it. Uh, there you go. So and I have found, guys, just so you know, dragging in sometimes attempts to replace whatever you have in there. But if you just click on the logo, it'll actually put it in here. And then you can kind of adjust it as you see fit. So it looks like I double clicked. You only really needed a single click. So delete those two out, still a little big. So let's drag that just a little bit smaller and make sure it fits nicely in that little square. Center it, and there you go. We have our logo centered there. Um, I can come in here and basically double click on this until I get the address that I want. And let's put it in KD, Texas. And you can see it might just carry it over, so I can hit uh, Shift Enter. It's going to move it to the next line. I can also then highlight all of this text, and I can come up here and click on Text Alignment. And I want that centered, and then I can click on the actual box. Once I get that cross, you can see I should. Well, let's see. There we go. Move that up just a little bit. Nope, that didn't move that. So I want to undo. And I want to click on this box. There we go. Now I'm moving it. I want to keep it centered on the page. And then I'm going to go back in and highlight and then center in the box. And so I can put join us on and let's just say we're going to do this Saturday. And what's Saturday's date? That's the 13th. Um, 12 to 2 p.m. Right, so you can see basically you can come in here and kind of edit this however you see fit. If you want to change the font size, again, you can highlight. You could come up here and change the different fonts. Right, so we can make it smaller. Make sure you get everything highlighted. I'm not sure why it's not letting me get that OMP. There we go. So you could change the font size here and kind of play with what it looks like. I could change the color. So say maybe I like it in black better, and I could change that. Um, I could change it to red, whatever color you wanted. So again, just make sure that you highlight the entire text. Not sure why that M got left off. Um, and you can see sometimes it does little funky things every now and then, and you just roll with it, right? So let's go back to black. And there we go, so now I have that. And then the only thing left is this is not a photo of the actual house. So I told you yesterday, if you come in to add, obviously we can drag and drop or click and browse. However, if I click on Instagram, this little box pops up because I have already given it permission it skips right into the next loading all my files however the first time you do it it'll say designer wants access to your Instagram account if you click on yes it'll start pulling up all the photos that are available in your Instagram account you can start scrolling through those so I actually have a copy of my um, open house sign so that might be interesting to see what that looks like so if I double click there that's gonna pull in 
Now, obviously, I don't want it to be the full size of the graphic, so let's see. If I right click, I think I can send it to the bottom. Um, that didn't quite do it. Let's get rid of this photo and let's put this photo in and let's see what happens when we just send it to the back. Send to bottom from there. Nope. Let's see what happens if I delete. There it is. Okay. So I just deleted that placeholder and now I can see my photo. And so I can come in here and kind of adjust how I see fit. And let's scroll that down. That almost fits perfectly. Let's see. Oh, I still have one in the background. So let's delete that one out of the background. And then I can come back in, right? And so that might be the graphic that I post. Now I've got the photo. I could come in and say, you know what? I don't like that photo. I actually know that I have in Facebook or maybe on my Facebook pages, let's say Facebook, I've already linked that account. So, and I believe, and you just kind of got to go through and find out where you posted that photo. So let me see where that is. Uh, was it in mobile uploads? You guys are about to see a lot of my photos here. Um, anyway, so you would find out where you actually posted that photo. Timeline. There it is. So here is the one that I posted of the actual aerial of the photo. So I could wait till that clears up. I could basically put it in there, put it in here, send to bottom, get rid of this placeholder, get rid of this placeholder, and there you see the photo there. So I could do that route as well. So guys, again, a lot of opportunities to kind of go through and play with the editor however you see fit. Once I'm done, I can come in and click again on download. Um, I want a high quality JPEG. I could do PNG if I wanted a transparent background. Right, so you have a different couple of different, if I wanted to create a flyer, I might do it for a PDF. That way it shows up really well in the actual flyer. Uh, but for right now, just do a, a standard JPEG, click on download, and it's gonna download it down here at the bottom. Here in just a second, you'll see that pop up, and then I'll get to able to use that on my Facebook page should I see fit. So there's the graphic, ready to go. Um, except, excuse me, it was Instagram that we were doing today. So this is already framed and ready and perfectly sized for uh, Instagram or Instagram stories. So tomorrow we're going to do uh, Twitter and I'll walk you through a few more features of the WeBrand editor and you guys will be well on your way using utilizing Sketchhouse designs for marketing materials for your social media channel. Guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day and as always, it's enjoyable to talk to you and I look forward to speaking with you tomorrow.